So does does the virtual showings does that contribute to selling these houses faster to get the, if they're only on the market for twelve to fifteen days? Like absolutely. You know what I mean? Tell us about kind of how that works. So uh, with virtual showings, is you know we'll we'll do. I mean, uh, as far as representing the seller. You know, that's why we got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we have, you know, the big, you know, drone footage of the house, you know, especially with that, you know, that house that we had in Ranch of Santa Fe. You know, you zoom out and you can see, actually appreciate that thing. Yeah, they got you an know? orchard. They have an they, orchard. They it's orchard. three like, acres. Not just a yard. <laughs> like, they it's a, trees with fruit. Like, <laughs> it's where, like, if you can hold weddings at a property, that says something. Like, if you want to hold a wedding there for thousands, tens of thousands of dollars a night, like, that's, a, that's an estate. Uh-huh. So... Yeah, so we have to, you know, walk through the house and, you know, the virtual tour kind of helps because there's, you know, a couple different forms that, you know, we'll, and we do all at once depending on the property, especially for luxury, is, you know, 3D Matterport. 3D Matterport's a really cool technology where, you know, basically you can, it's like Google Maps for inside of a house, you know, you can, it's a special camera that goes through and you can walk through the house virtually for all the buyers, that saves time people going through and a lot of our buyers right now because of you know covid they don't want people coming in their house and spreading germs and stuff like that so that minimizes it and also we can make you know edit the photos and make it look nice um and then obviously the marketing with the the drone footage you know it gets more eyes on it we blast the whole world you know cool video it's right on you know it's next to the beach you know so Uh cool Cool, the uh what does this mean when they would you consider yourself a negotiating ninja so as a seller the power of negotiating prices up Mm -hmm. to get maximum value for that house Mm -hmm. that's what's great about having an actual agent list the house for you instead of trying to do a diy deal yes which is a detriment (laughs) because you you do a diy deal and it's just like oh but if you get an Mm -hmm. agent they're going to drive that to get that top market value because again it goes back to the market dictates the price and you exactly. have that, that network so tell us about uh this negotiating <laughs> ninja right well <laughs> i mean it, it definitely takes a lot of training and it comes from a lot of different angles i believe that you know when me and franny start working together on a deal it's because we're just really good we, we're just naturally relationship specialists you know so we know how to feel people out and we don't a lot of you know people we don't want to create bad blood you know, with, with, with your buyers or sellers, whatever your client. So just being able to feel out that good relationship and understand where people are at without verbally saying it and giving that up. Um, but, and just also knowing where, you know, where that, where the market is on that house. I mean, 